The impeachment of an American president is a very unusual event. The American Constitution says that Congress can remove a president if enough members vote that the president committed treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. There were only two examples before the arrival of Donald Trump in the White House, Andrew Johnson in 1868 and Bill Clinton in 1998. Both men were acquitted. Bill Clinton faced allegations that he had lied under oath about his affair with the intern Monica Lewinsky. A presidential impeachment process must go through both houses of the Congress. First, after an official inquiry has taken place, the House of Representatives votes on the list of charges against the president. If a majority vote against the president, he or she is impeached. The second house, the Senate, then holds a trial. If two-thirds of the senators convict the president, he leaves office. The accusation against Trump came from a whistleblower. He or she alleged that Trump broke the law by pressuring the president of Ukraine to open a corruption investigation connected to Joe Biden, a potential Democratic opponent in the 2020 presidential election. According to his accuser, Trump invited and may even have extorted a foreign country to interfere in the election of the next U.S. president.